Introducing Hyundai Material Handling's unique battery safety technology. Shall we take a look at the battery safety technology? First, the liquid cooling system is applied to the battery thermal management. This keeps the battery at an optimal temperature regardless of charging, discharging, or surrounding conditions. Second, fire suppression function. This is a core battery protection technology that prevents and minimizes fire risks. Let's take a look at how the system is configured. Display. The current status of the battery can be monitored in real time through the cluster display. Detector. It detects early warning signs of potential battery failure before a fire can occur. Injector. If an issue is detected inside the battery, fire suppressant powder is released for a fast and effective response. Third, the battery management system. The monitoring system helps prevent overheating, overcurrent, and overdischarge in advance and it regulates charging and discharging when abnormal signals are detected. Overheating, charging discharging is cut off when high temperature is detected. Overvoltage, charging is limited when the cell or pack voltage exceeds the design threshold. Overcurrent, Charging and discharging are shut down when excessive current beyond the limit is detected. Let's take a look at the charging type. Standard charging. For standard charging, a 70 kilowatt battery can be fully charged within four hours. It may vary depending on the battery and charger specifications. Fast charging. For fast charging, a 70 kilowatt battery can be fully charged within one hour. Shall we explore the recommended operating environments? Standard charging. Standard charging, which takes four hours, is best suited for work environments where overnight charging is possible. Suitable for logistics and manufacturing sites, operating one to two shifts a day. Fast charging. For fast charging, a one-hour charging time is ideal for operations requiring round-the-clock shift work. Work sites like 24-hour warehouses and large distribution centers where fast charging is needed. Let's take a look at the charging connector. A charging connector that safely and efficiently transmits high output is used. Where is the charging inlet located? The charging inlet is located on the left side inside the electric forklift frame, allowing for easy charging. Let's try charging together. For the lithium charger, turn the power switch on and the emergency switch off. Connect the charging connector to the vehicle's charging inlet to begin charging. Please check the connector for any dirt, debris, or moisture and clean it before connecting. Charging will automatically start about 5 seconds after the connector is plugged in. When charging is 100% complete, the charging complete message will appear and charging will automatically stop. If you want to stop charging before it's full, press the stop button. A message will confirm the charging has ended. Release the locking button on the connector before disconnecting. Do not disconnect the charging connector while charging. Here are some useful charging tips to extend the life of your battery. Try to keep the battery level above 30% whenever possible. Fully charge the battery to 100% at least once a month. Avoid letting the battery completely drain below 0%. For long-term storage, fully charge the battery and make sure the emergency switch is on. Completely draining the battery can void the cell warranty and may prevent recharging with a standard charger. Proper care is essential. Hyundai Material Handling's next-generation electric forklift, safe, efficient, and built for the future. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more stories about Hyundai Material Equipment and its next generation electric forklift.